Have you heard the news? Yamaha has taken a surprising stance by abandoning the engine that has been used by both Ducati and KTM for their MotoGP bikes. Whether you are a die-hard fan of MotoGP or simply have an undying love for high-performance engines, this is one announcement you won't want to miss. Hold on. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, ring the notification bell so you never miss any breaking news from the world of MotoGP. Yamaha has once again outdone themselves with this latest revelation. The fascinating world of MotoGP, where cutting-edge technology and precision engineering are the backbone of the sport. In the realm of motorcycle racing, Yamaha has always been a formidable player. It has been boasting an impressive history of victories and accolades. However, there is one aspect of Yamaha's MotoGP bikes that has intrigued enthusiasts for decades. What is it? Their use of inline four-cylinder engines, the ones that are also part of their ethos. Yamaha's Incredible Legacy Yamaha's legacy in MotoGP has been built on a foundation of hard work, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Yamaha's history in MotoGP is a story of triumph and perseverance. With an impressive track record spanning decades, Yamaha has established itself as a force to be reckoned with on the MotoGP circuit. The brand's impressive track record of success spans decades and includes some of the most iconic riders in the sport's history. Kenny Roberts Sr. won three championships for Yamaha in the late 1970s and early 1980s. He is often credited with helping to establish the brand as a dominant force in MotoGP. However, the brand's success didn't stop there. Riders such as Wayne Rainey, Eddie Lawson, and Jorge Lorenzo have all achieved incredible success while riding for Yamaha. But it's not just the riders who have made Yamaha a powerhouse in the sport. The company's commitment to innovation and cutting-edge technology has resulted in the development of some of the most advanced MotoGP bikes on the market. Yamaha has consistently pushed the boundaries of what's possible on two wheels. It's no wonder that Yamaha is widely regarded as one of the most successful and influential brands in MotoGP history. Yamaha's success in MotoGP is definitely undeniable. It is also worth noting that the brand's competitors have long recognized its incredible legacy. Gigi Deligna, general manager of Ducati Corse said, Yamaha is one of our main competitors in MotoGP and we know that they are always a strong and consistent force in the sport. However, MotoGP is a very unpredictable environment, and we need to remain flexible and adaptable in order to stay competitive. In a world where their competitors like Ducati have been using V4 engines, Yamaha's preference for the inline four-cylinder engine is both unique and intriguing. Yamaha has once again created quite a stir in the motorcycle racing community. So sit back, loosen up, and let us immerse ourselves in what Yamaha has in store for us. However, the question remains, why do they persist with this design? To shed light on this enigma, we have the privilege of hearing from the managing director of Yamaha Motor Racing, Lynn Jarvis himself. Mr. Jarvis has been at the helm of Yamaha's racing division for over a decade. He has witnessed firsthand the evolution of MotoGP racing and the role of the engine in the sport. Want insights? Before that, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So why has Yamaha maintained the inline four-cylinder engine all these years? For decades, Yamaha has remained a trailblazer in the world of motorcycle racing. It is further powered by their unwavering faith in their iconic engine design, which is the inline four-cylinder engine. This engine has become synonymous with Yamaha's brand. In fact, the company's success in the sport is inseparable from the unique features of this design. At the heart of this engineering marvel is the inline four's distinctive configuration. Four cylinders are arranged in a straight line, firing in sequence to deliver a seamless flow of power to the motorcycle. This design offers numerous benefits, which have allowed Yamaha to remain at the forefront of the racing world for years. The most notable of these advantages is the engine's weight. 
By being more compact than other engine configurations, the inline four is lighter. This enables greater maneuverability on the track. Additionally, this engine delivers superior acceleration. The inline four engine configuration undoubtedly provides riders with a lightning fast speeds and acceleration. This is what they need to stay ahead of the competition. However, it is worth noting that the V4 engine design has some distinct advantages as well. This is why some competitors have shifted to this configuration. To understand this, let's take a closer look at racing lines and cornering dynamics. Inline fours, while lighter and more compact, can be more difficult to handle in corners. This is because they tend to have a narrower power band. This means that riders have to work harder to keep the engine in its optimal range. Additionally, inline fours can be prone to a phenomenon called pumping. That's why the engine's torque causes the bike to pitch forward and back. This makes it harder to maintain a smooth line through corners. In contrast to inline fours, V4 engines are known for their wider power band and smoother torque delivery. It can provide riders with more control when navigating corners. The wider power band allows for greater flexibility in shifting gears. This further makes it easier for riders to maintain their speed through turns. However, this advantage comes at a cost. V4 engines are typically heavier and larger than their inline four counterparts, which can make them less maneuverable and agile on the track. Moreover, the design and manufacturing of V4 engines tends to be more complex and intricate, driving up the costs of production and maintenance. This is because V4 engines require more components such as additional cylinders and crankshafts. This needs to be carefully balanced and aligned to ensure smooth operation. It can also make it more challenging to diagnose and fix problems when they arise, potentially leading to higher maintenance costs. Both inline fours and V fours have their own strengths and weaknesses. However, the choice ultimately comes down to the manufacturer and rider. People are always talking about Yamaha's big dilemma of whether to switch to the dominant V four engine or stick with their tried and true inline four. However, switching to a different engine configuration can be a significant challenge for manufacturers. Creating a new engine requires vast amounts of time, resources, and testing, making it a daunting task. Yamaha's continued reliance on the inline four engine is a testament to its effectiveness, even as competitors have transitioned to the V4 engine. It would be a very bold and far-reaching decision if we were to re-engineer now. We thought it made more sense to proceed with the engine design that we know inside and out, said Jarvis. He also said, even if we switch engines now, we will have a clear disadvantage at the start. We will be left behind because most of the competition has more than 20 years of experience. Nevertheless, Yamaha is no stranger to taking risks. The company is poised to adapt to the changing landscape of racing regulations. With new regulations coming into effect in 2027, Yamaha will have four years to develop a new engine. While V4 engines have taken the MotoGP world by storm in recent years, Yamaha remains steadfast in their belief that the inline four is the superior engine design. We strongly believe in our engine concept, and currently we are continuing to move forward in this direction. I can't imagine any short-term changes, Jarvis said. Well, there's only one thing that will decide inline four's fate. Yamaha's YZR M1 as the ultimate MotoGP game changer. The world of MotoGP is in a state of flux, as a new regulation set to come into effect in 2027 is causing manufacturers to reevaluate their engine designs. Enter Yamaha's latest YZR M1, which is set to determine the future of inline fours in MotoGP. Its success will ultimately determine whether Yamaha continues with this configuration or considers building a V4 engine. The pressure is on for Yamaha to deliver a high-performing engine that can hold its own against the V4s. As Yamaha works to develop their new engine, there are various factors that they must consider. One of the most important is the balance between power and agility. 
V4 engines are known for their power, but this can come at the expense of agility. Inline-4 engines, on the other hand, are known for their agility, but can sometimes lack the raw power of a V4. Striking the right balance between these two factors will be key to Yamaha's success. Now, Yamaha has four years to develop a new engine that will determine the future of inline-4s in MotoGP. While V4 engines have proven their worth in recent years, other engine designs such as inline-4s have also shown promise. Yamaha's latest YZR M1 will be a crucial test of whether this configuration still has a place in MotoGP. With the pressure on, only time will tell whether they are up for the challenge. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more exciting MotoGP content. Thank you for watching.